It's sort of a rite of summer in New Jersey. Wildlife experts are banding a swallow-like bird that spends the winter in South America, but summers here in the Garden State. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers has the story. They are lowering the purple martin nests at the Verizon Operations Center in Basking Ridge. The New Jersey Audubon Society is banding the baby birds before they leave their nests. About a thousand of the birds have been banded in New Jersey so far this summer. The idea is to track their dispersal pattern when they leave their martin colonies and fly south to Brazil for the winter. They will come back to the same spot each year. So we're just trying to keep tabs on how many we're fledging out, if they're making it back. To, um, uh, to see what the population is and just get a handle on it. Purple martins are found mostly east of the Mississippi. The Audubon Society says their numbers are declining, but they are not listed as threatened or endangered. Their habitat, nesting habitat, is, uh, is the main issue why they're in the decline. They're cavity nesters, and um, they have a hard time finding those natural cavities. Um, the competition for those cavities are uh, pretty intense. Um, also, when, when you factor in invasive birds like house sparrows and starlings. So um, they're doing a lot better now that gourd racks like this are up. The birds play an important role during the summer months. Their entire diet is uh, comprised of uh, eating insects, uh, aerial insects, and you know they basically keep insects in check. The Verizon property sits adjacent to the Great Swamp Wildlife Area perfect habitat. We've had a partnership, a great partnership with the Audubon Society, and they've told us, you know, how to maintain this, uh, basically the, the land so that the invasive species can get out, the natural species can come back. And what we've had is a flourishing of species, both plant and animal. Although they don't have any exact figures, the Audubon Society believes hundreds of homeowners have erected purple martin birdhouses across the state. They're nicknamed martin landlords. Experts say the gourd-shaped homes are better for attracting the martins and keeping other unwanted bird species out. On the East Coast, according to the, uh, the, the uh, Purple Martin Conservation Association, on their site they say that the East Coast is completely dependent upon birdhouses such as this. Uh, out West, they still find them in the natural cavities. The proper placement and maintenance of the nests is essential to attracting the martins. Ed Rogers, NJN News.